Hello and welcome to Talk God. It's as much about you as it is about us here in the studio. If God is for you, no one can be against you. Today you can be free. You can have your sins forgiven. What a wonderful scene, eh? <laughs> it's great, this backdrop. I'm sure every presenter's been saying that, but it's, uh, it's terrific here, this panoramic view over London. But welcome. We're not in London, but we've got a wonderful panoramic view to show you. But uh, uh, welcome. This is Thursday, 22nd of January, 2009, and this is Simply the Truth, live with me, Doug Harris. And welcome. You are as important as we are in the studio and we want you to be taking part each week we'll be looking at uh, a subject uh, talking to somebody and we want to present the truth as simply as possible and we want you to help us that we want you to ask questions if we get too complicated we want you to ask questions if we maybe don't make things clear we want you to come on and help us uh, in doing that because there's only ever two or three of us in the studio Lots of you out there uh, able to watch, able to look, and able to have your say. We, uh, I want to welcome back uh, my guest today, all the way from uh, South Wales, uh, Julian, Julian Thomas. He yeah. has to be a Thomas coming from Wales, doesn't he? Of course. They let you out again? They have, yeah, deep they, pass. Yes, I, uh, well, there we are. <laughs> I thought they were going to shut the bridge this morning and, and keep you in, but... Uh, uh, glad you've made it. Thanks. Today we start with one of the basics of the uh, scripture and that is the truth about the real Jesus. Awful lot of different Jesuses around there. There's awful lot of um, uh, Jesuses where people are making him out to be something other than he is. We want to look at the truth about the real. What I want to do to set the scene, um, o over the last few weeks, uh, I've picked up a couple of surveys. Mm -hmm. um, now, surveys are all, always can be, depends who asks the questions, how they ask them. But if you take the numbers as they are, I, I, I think they, they give some warning bells and especially underlining the subject that we're talking about the truth mm -hmm. about the real jesus one is is great britain another is, is from america and there may be some slight differences there uh, as, as to people and and, and yes. the way they look mm -hmm. but i suspect that the numbers wouldn't be too different uh, mm -hmm. in 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 that sense and and i think it's quite fr i i was quite fright not frightened <coughs> in the sense of scared but thinking Wow, no wonder we've got problems mm -hmm. with some of our Christianity today. No wonder we've got problems in communicating and, and seeing people yes. come through. Uh, uh, now, the first uh, survey um, was, um, um, the, the, it, it was actually mentioned um, and, and, and put out in, on, on Christmas Day in Los Angeles, but it was actually concerning Great Britain. Mm -hmm. um, a new survey recently showed that 70% of people in Great Britain doubted the biblical account of the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, if we doubt the birth, there's no wonder we've got Jesus all wrong. Because mm -hmm. the moment you, A, was he born? I mean, that's the first thing we're not actually told, of course, of, of, what, of what this goes into. I suspect more uh, of it wasn't a doubt that he was born but it was a doubt that he was born of a virgin. And the manner, yes. And yeah. the manner uh -huh, in which uh -huh. he was born. And of course that... 70% 70, 70 of 70% of people in Great Britain. General public. Yes. Not, not now, I don't public. know, mm -hmm. what I do not know about this particular survey, um, because uh, a guy goes on uh, to quite say that, you know, that they're wrong. Mm. <laughs> and he, he shows why. I'm not going to go into it, because we'll be going into some of that today. Um, but it, it, it is obviously quite worrying if that was taken over, you know, a largish, um, mm -hmm. you know, population uh, number, mm -hmm. um, that, that they come up with such a figure mm -hmm. um, that, uh, that. I think what was even more worrying to me, and again, this shows the state in America, uh, and it's interesting because in uh, the, the Barna Group, who do a number of surveys like this, and big surveys, and, mm -hmm. uh, and they take uh, always over, just over a thousand adults is, okay. is, is what they will do. Yeah. Um, they will actually make a distinction between people who call themselves born again 
i.e. people that have a, a will believe have a real faith and a real relationship mm -hmm. with Jesus mm -hmm. and then with people who just are, call themselves Christians which yes. of course may know Christ or may just go to church and, yes. and then the others you know, yeah, they, yeah. they always <laughs> make that um, and um, and out of this uh, was it 71 percent of adults note noted that they are personally more likely to develop their own set of religious beliefs than to accept a comprehensive set of beliefs taught by a particular church. Mm -hmm. Although born-again Christians were among the segment least likely to adopt the a la carte approach uh, to beliefs, a considerable majority, even of born-again adults, 61%, had taken that route. Now that, that yeah. that's quite concerning, isn't it? Yes, it is. That people that consider themselves Christians and consider mm -hmm. themselves a relationship will not take the Bible um, as being God's word to us and will look elsewhere uh, for, yes. for, for, for mm. various mm. things. Um, uh, the, the, it got even worse. People under the age of 25 of all, 82% uh, yes. said they would develop their own uh, belief system. Um, and then he goes on to say, e e evidence of people's willingness to part with church teaching was shown in other data from the survey regarding what people believe. Among individuals who described, that described themselves as Christian, so that is a whole range there, mm -hmm. for instance, close to half believe that Satan does not exist. One third contend that Jesus sinned while he was on the earth. Okay. Two-fifths say that they do not have responsibility to share the Christian faith. That would certainly concern you. Yes, if, it would. Uh, with, from that. Um, and one quarter dismiss the idea that the Bible is accurate in all the principles it teaches. And, of course, that's where mm. you can pick and choose yes, which yeah, one yeah, it wants. Uh -huh. And so some of the conclusions and some of the implications, mm. and just why, why, wind it up here... Um, Growing numbers of people now serve as their own theologian in residence. I, li I like some of these <laughs> phrases. It's actually quite good. One consequence is that Americans are embracing an unprecedented and contradictory body of beliefs. Millions of people who consider themselves to be Christian now believe that the Bible is totally accurate uh, sorry, now believe that the Bible is not totally accurate in all, all of its lessons it mm -hmm. teaches. Um, at the same time, they believe Jesus Christ sinned. But they believe the Bible. Millions also contend that they will experience eternal salvation because they confess their sins and accepted Christ as their saviour, but also believe that a con person can do enough good works to earn eternal salvation. Oh, right. You know, and this is the problem. Where, where it, it, it's almost which way you're facing, yes, which no, way you're doing. No. So you know, you can talk one way to one people, and it's really. Mm. Uh, and, and the final conclusion, another one of these great. Uh, well, I had to look this one up. What it meant? Faith <laughs> of whatever variety is increasingly viral, rather than pedagogical. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Pe pedagogical. <laughs> Well, viral is quite, viral is just a virus. In other words, it's catching. So yes. in other words, what I suspect is basically they're picking it up from other people. I think mm -hmm. that's what he means. Rather mm -hmm. pedagogical, which means studied. Studied, uh, okay. taught, yeah. Um, yeah. taught. So, so in other words, it, it, it is something that's picked up. It's a lovely phrase, viral, rather than pedagogical. I think I'm yes. going to bring that into my next sermon. I think you should. Nobody will understand a word I'm talking about. Do they under no, forget that. Okay, right. It goes on to say, with people spending less time reading the Bible mm -hmm. and becoming less engaged in activities that deepen their biblical literacy. Faith views are more often adopted on the basis of dialogue, self-reflection and observation than teaching. Mm -hmm. Feelings and emotions now play a significant role in the development of people's faith views in many cases, much more significant than information-based exercises such as listening to preaching and participating mm -hmm. in Bible study. Mm -hmm. Now, if that is true of you know, even a small amount of Christians, it is rather worrying.